wanted to use really sure. one Hi, I'm Ronnie Floyd, and I am the senior pastor of Cross Church, and have just uh, been elected as the new president of the Southern Baptist Convention. And this afternoon, when the gavel uh, ended the session, I be formally became the president of the Southern Baptist Convention. I've been asked two questions, and the first question I would like to uh, answer is the question about unity, and that is, what is my heart for unity? Well, first of all, I, I want to thank you for asking that question because in reality, I'm really calling us to a year of extraordinary prayer for the purpose of seeing the next great spiritual awakening in America. And in order to do that, we're going to ask people to come together uh, and have explicit agreement that the number one need in America is spiritual awakening, a great awakening. And then, we have to come together in what we call visible unity. And that's really what this question is about. And so I just want to stop right there and talk about visible unity. What I will do as the new president, that I will be serving all Southern Baptists, and that is that I will ask us to lock arms and work together for the fulfillment of the Great Commission around the world, taking the good news of Jesus Christ to every person in America, every person in North America, and every person around the world. And not only simply making a commitment to do that, but also accelerating the pace about that. Well, we need to pray about that. We need to pray hard about that as well as do it. And we're going to undergird that, doing that together. And one of the unique things about Southern Baptist life is that we have 12 national and international entities. We have 42 state conventions, and we have 50,000 churches and church-type missions. Therefore, with that, all together, we're gonna come together, and we're gonna go forward together in the name of Jesus to fulfill the Great Commission. So we're gonna unify, I'm gonna call us to unity in prayer, extraordinary prayer. Which leads me to the answer the second question. Because the second question that you asked was in relationship to what is my heart for the future? What is the plan that I have that I want to see happen in the Southern Baptist Convention? I can answer that in a couple of ways. First of all, the Southern Baptist Convention has had what we would call the great conservative resurgence. This convention came back in the late 70s and 80s and early 90s to our conservative roots biblically and theologically, verified in what we believed in and voted on in what is called the Baptist Faith and Message 2000. But also, we've not only had that, but we've also had the beginning moments, the beginning years of a great commission resurgence. I was able to lead that effort in 2009 and 2010. I was the chairman of that effort. And the convention overwhelmingly adopted those proposals and those recommendations. And so we're in the beginning years of seeing a brand new vibrancy and, a, and creating strong conversation about how we together can fulfill the Great Commission. Well, in this whole endeavor, now it's time for us to see the next great awakening in America. And that's what I'm going to call us to pray for. I'm calling us to move into a season of extraordinary prayer to see the next great spiritual awakening in America. I mean, just like Jonathan Edwards did, when Jonathan Edwards saw the great needs in America in the 1700s, he called Christians to come together in agreement, to be visibly unified and to also enter a season of extraordinary prayer to see a spiritual awakening in the land, to see the revival of religion, he called it, and the advancement of the kingdom of God. And that's what we want to see is the advancement of the kingdom of God. And so as we experience this extraordinary prayer and we move to the beginning stages of prayerfully seeing sovereign God answer our prayer about seeing the next great awakening in America, 
I pray that God will use that to lift up high the Great Commission in our churches, the fulfillment of taking the gospel to the ends of the age, and to see an acceleration of the Great Commission all the way to its completion in our generation. And that's really what I'm going to talk about. You see, when you think about the Southern Baptist Convention, it's really all about this. Reaching the world for Jesus Christ. Everything we do, we do to reach the world for Jesus Christ. And so all of us will come together, all 50,000 churches, all 42 state conventions, and all 12 Southern Baptist entities will come together to reach the world for Jesus Christ. Everything we do leads to that, and everything we do goes and flows from that. And we do it on the basis of God's Word and its authority. We do it in the name of Jesus, in the power of the gospel, and ignited with the power of the Holy Spirit. Pray for us, because we are believing God for a great year here in the Southern Baptist Convention.